uh, the econometrician. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what was your take on, uh, you probably had already done so, but what was your take on um, on that brother from the Grio taking up that position with um, uh, Ebony Williams saying that, you know, is I, I wouldn't date a, a bus driver who doesn't own a bus. And what was the larger implication of that? What, what was your thoughts on that? Yeah, a lot of people ask me about that. I've, I've been meaning to do a show about that. That it was kind of coming from an elitist place, um, and I, she had me to a certain degree, and then she started getting off into basically some bedwinch babble, and um, she had they they showed that she'd had a zaddy before, so a lot of that stuff she said was nullified. That whole thing was she won't she wouldn't date a bus driver. The thing is with her. She's still trying to talk down to brothers in order to make herself feel better because she knows she's priced out of the game. She ain't about to really get no baller at this point, and she knows that. She spent some of her prime choosing years chasing Zaddy. So a lot of these women chase these Zaddies. You don't get chosen, and then when you are priced out of the game, you want to start talking crazy at brothers and trying to minimize brothers. I don't, I don't want no nigga who drive a bus. It's, it's, where, where's that coming from? There's nothing wrong with a brother who's driving a bus. It's, especially when you've, you know, about to hit the wall. But there's nothing wrong with that. And plus, you're not, you're not in, in baller territory no more, ma'am. Because well, she's what, is she like 40? She's getting close to 40. And not now there's some 40-year-old women in here that still look good. I'm not knocking you guys. I'm not knocking y'all. There's some fly 40-year-old women who can still get flued out and all that. I'm not knocking the 40-year-old women. There's still very beautiful 40-year-old women. There's beautiful 50-year-old women. But when you are 40 years old, you can't be out here making demands like the 24-year-olds. This is what I'm saying. You can't be out here making these boss demands like the 24-year-olds. You better understand there's a whole crop of um, new recruits out here on the streets. So you sitting up here at 40 and you don't look the same without your makeup on, talking about what bus driver you ain't going to date and what you need and what you going to demand. And you got these ballers who got a gang of options and these options are fresh out the bakery, these 23, 24-year-olds are choosing heavy, fresh, ain't got no kids, ain't got no baggage. So if a ball is about to make an investment in a relationship, where is he going to go? Somebody who's 40 and bitter or somebody who's fresh and 23? Now, if you're 40 and you got your mind right, you can still get in there. But 40 and bitter ain't going to cut it. In fact, when you get older, ladies, you better be more cooperative and you better have more of a soothing disposition when it comes to dudes. Don't no nigga balling out want to hear no baggage ass complaining from nobody, especially somebody who's double the age of the new recruits out here. Let, let, let's talk real for a minute. If you get a, a cute 40-year-old chick, she better be talking right. She better be talking real right. You better be saying something flyer than what the 24-year-olds are saying because they got a leg up. So what you going to bring to the table that they ain't got? Just like dudes, women. See, y'all, women, a lot of women go for the older guys as opposed to some of the younger dudes. You get a younger dude, he's a young fly dude, but the thing is, you get a young fly dude and an older guy who's still kind of fly, but the older guy's more established. His money is right. So you're like, hell, let me choose him. That's a better option. Dudes think the same way. You got two women, one's 40 something, one's 24. They're both cute, both still got nice bodies. The 24 year old ain't got that much baggage. The, the 40 year old one, she's still kind of bitter because of the last three niggas that have done her wrong. So now do you want to invest in that? That's how dudes think. So that 40-year-old woman or the 45-year-old woman, she better be talking like she got some goddamn sense. You ain't going to be sitting up here talking about, I ain't going to date this nigga. I need this. And I I need a baller, nigga. I, I want the bus owner. 
okay. So the bus owner, okay, say I'm the bus owner. And Ebony's with me on a date. And I own these buses. And what, what's Ebony going to bring to the table? Besides her bitter disposition. Because you heard disposition is bitter. That's a bitter disposition. You, you, know, you, you feel me? Dudes can sense it. Dudes can feel it. That's coming from a place of bitterness. Don't nobody want that. That's, that's one of the reasons why the dudes get the 24-year-olds. That bitterness ain't kicked in yet. A bunch of niggas ain't done them wrong yet. Yeah? I want y'all to understand that when guys are trying to choose, we choose dispositions as well. We want somebody with a pleasant disposition with no psychological baggage. And women, I want y'all to understand, y'all better watch your dick intake. Dicks are like ghosts. Yeah, and them ghosts linger on your ass. And dudes don't want to be with no chick with, with dick ghost humming around her. Yeah, you understand? We don't want your, your dick ghost. We don't want to have that shit around us. So you better exercise the dick demons and get that off your spirit so when you get with a new dude, you talking right. You feel me, ladies? Y'all feel me? We, we'll have some, a little real talk in here tonight. We're having some real talk. Let me, let's be clear. You got some women who's 45, 50, fly. Good conversation. Niggas to get your ass. Look at people like Tracy Edmond, for example. Tracy Edmond, how old is Tracy Edmond? Tracy Edmond, she's beautiful sister. Tracy in her 50s. Tracy Edmonds keep niggas wiping her ass up. She had baby face and then Eddie Murphy. And now is she still with Deion Sanders? Tracy Edmonds, keep a nigga. Wiping her up. You then? Because she has a good disposition. She has a very pleasant disposition. And dudes like that. Your disposition goes a long way, especially if you are a little older. You better come real correct. You better come correct. You better come through with it. Steve Harvey's wife, she was older. Steve had other options, but he got her. She's a beautiful sister. Disposition was correct. So I'm, I'm not saying that y'all are out the game. You just got to come correct. You better, when you're older, competing with those 24-year-olds, what you got to do, you got to bring, leave that bitterness away and bring your experience to the table. You got to come in the door like, look, I fuck with you, nigga, and me, you know, I'm not one of them young bitches out here who don't know nothing. I can help you manage this shit in here. You got to come in like that. Like, I can help you with the books. I can come in and get this household in order. I can get the money straight. I can and show you some investment things that I've learned. That's what niggas want to fuck with. If you are an older woman, you come in with that type of mentality, coming in with your experience, not no damn bitterness. That's what niggas can respect. You did. Y'all got to come in the door like that. You better come in, letting us know you can go and handle some of these books and do all the other wifey shit. Yeah, giving y'all ladies some game. But ladies, don't don't be the the older bitter chick and don't be the old thought. That's another thing. There's two things y'all don't want to do, ladies. You don't want to be the old ass bitter chick complaining about niggas and talking about what you need now. I deserve some trips from niggas. And this ain't about trying to hear all that bullshit. A nigga supposed to take me to Jamaica. <laughs> Shut your ass up, Gladys. Listen, but don't you be that. And don't be the old damn thought. Don't you be the, the 50 year old chick out here in a cat suit and a BBL and your feet look like goddamn Cicely Tyson. Don't try to be that. Don't try to out-thought these young girls. You ain't going to do it. You got some of these fresh thoughts coming out here. There's a whole new level of th thought. <laughs> y'all cannot compete. Lady, y'all 40, y'all 50. Y'all knees ain't good enough to out-thought these girls coming out of here now. These girls are raised off Sunny Delight and Hot Cheetos, and their knees are still good. There's a whole level of thought going on with these girls that y'all can't compete with. These girls be doing all types of shit. You can't compete with that. You're going to blow your fucking hip out trying to compete with these damn young girls. Sit your ass down and help that nigga with his goddamn accounting. That's what you do. 
That's what you do. We had to put an ice pack on your damn back trying to outthought these damn girls out here. Come on, man. Y'all got to respect the game that's going on out here. Yeah. Man, we got a lot of folks in here tonight. We got a lot of people in here tonight. Y'all in here heavy. I think we had a constructive conversation tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get out of here. Let me, cause I, y'all gonna have me in here all night. Y'all gonna have me in here all night, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, guys, it's been real. Get your FBA flags at officialfba.com. That's where you can get your flags. Get your tickets for the FBA Expo going down in Dallas next week. I want to see all of y'all in Dallas. It's going to be a phenomenal event. We got so many great speakers. Uh, It's going to be a very empowering event, ladies and gentlemen. Um, FBAexpo.com vendors, y'all need to come on through. If you are a business owner, come and showcase your business. Let people know who you are. You dig? Where are my L.A. people? If you're in L.A., y'all need to come by the Hidden History Museum, 2131 West Jefferson. Also, yeah, the show, we have a show on um, FBA Stream, and I posted a clip called Tariq Nasheed's Museum Life. It gives you a glimpse into our daily activity at the museum. Have y'all seen it yet on FBA Stream? You go to fbastream.com. And you can see Tariq Nasheed's Museum Life. Very fun show. We had a great time shooting. Um, the clips are funny. The one I showed of the guy rapping. And there's some other clips on there that's funny as hell. So you go see that at fbastream.com. All right. Anyway, guys. And also, if you want to go to the Hidden History Museum, go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com for more information. Hiddenhistorymuseum.com. All right, guys. You have a good night, man. Y'all be safe out here. Puppy Akute and Lilla Vuve to the family, man. Peace.